DIYers. Hey, what's going on? Mike Bors with the Mike Bors channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking jet skis today. And in the event that your jet ski is not starting, welcome to the club. We've all been there. We're going to talk about the common causes. Hopefully that'll help you get yours figured out. Let's go to the jet ski and get started. All right, DIYers, here we are at the lake now and the jet ski is on the left-hand side of the dock, as you can see. It's on a hoist. What we'll do is remove it from the hoist and bring it closer to shore, take the seats off and get started. I've now repositioned the jet ski. I have removed the seats, as you can see there. And common cause number one, we're basically going to do this in the likelihood order that may cause your jet ski not to start. Common cause number one is a dead battery. And you can use a voltmeter and check the voltage of your battery. You can even remove your battery, take it to an auto parts store, and you can have it tested. In our case, our battery is perfectly fine. In addition, ask yourself how old is the battery? On average, jet ski batteries usually only last about four to five years from our experience. So if your battery is four to five years old or older, well, chances are the battery is is unserviceable, unchargeable, and no longer reliable and worth keeping. It is time to replace that battery. So again, that's common cause number one, a bad battery. Common cause number two, you'll see that red positive cable feeding into a Phillips screw on the top right portion of the battery. And down below, you will see that black negative cable feeding into the battery and secured in place by a Phillips screw. In the event that either of those screws or connection points are loose, guess what? That could be your issue. In other words, it's basically creating a short in the electrical system, which is not allowing you to start your engine. So again, that's common cause number two. Common cause number three, Let's feed back to the rear portion. Yours may be positioned or located in a different spot inside your hull. However, that little electrical box right there, let's go ahead and open it. I have now removed the cap of the electrical box. You can see some blue wires, some red wires, some black wires. And I want to direct our attention to the two threaded studs sticking up that have electrical wiring and connections secured to it by those nuts. And it's kind of tough to see, but that is our starter relay. And in the event that your starter relay fails, guess what? Your engine will not start. And with that said, let's back it up a bit. What we have seen in the past with these starter relays is over time, they begin weakening and performing intermittently. And what I mean by that is sometimes the starter relay allows you to start the engine and sometimes it doesn't. So if you're sitting there thinking, yep, that's basically what I'm experiencing or have been experiencing over the last couple weeks, chances are it is your starter relay. In other words, the first time you start the jet ski during the day, it starts up perfectly. You take it for a cruise, then you turn it off for 20 minutes. Then you try to start it again and it won't start. And you keep pushing your start push button. And maybe on the sixth or seventh time of pushing it, it starts. Your starter relay is in the early stages of failure and will soon fail completely, not allowing you to start your engine at all. Let me get in here and get a closer view. As you can see right there, you have two threaded studs which secure wiring connection points in place on the starter relay. And just above the red and black wire, you see an additional electrical connection point that has that blue and black wire as well as the red and yellow wire. And DIYers, for your convenience, scrolling above right now is a link to a video that shows us removing this exact starter relay and installing a brand new one. So definitely check that out. And again, yours may be positioned in a different portion of your engine. What I did next was grab our brand new starter relay. Check that out. And as far as how this is positioned down inside that electrical box, again, you've got two threaded studs, two nuts, two electrical wiring feed in right there. And then you've got this electrical wire connection point down below. That's where that black and blue wire as well as red and yellow wire are right inside there. And then way down below is two oval cutouts on the starter relay mold to allow the part to be secured inside that electrical box. So again, definitely check out that link scrolling above just a bit ago. You will see how to install this. You'll see how to remove that. And we'll talk about part numbers. Again, this is common cause number three. Now to common cause number four, your start stop push button. And this red plastic start stop push button connects to the internal electric push button. And the wire feeds inside your handlebar unit here and feeds down and gets the electrical power from down below. And every time you push this button, it completes the electrical circuit, which in connection with that, electrical connection feeds into your starter relay. And if you've got a good starter relay, it will continue the circuit and allow you to start your engine. But if this internal push button behind this little red plastic button is broken, corroded, rusted, or believe it or not, in some cases, what we have seen in the past over the years of constantly pushing this push button in and out, the actual internal push button loses its outward spring loaded extension ability and it completely just fails altogether. So again, common cause number four, down below in the comment section, as well as the description section is a link on how to replace the internal button and the electrical wiring that feeds inside the handlebar unit. And we may even clean this 
start stop button or replace it all together and again common cause number four and common cause number five is your starter and unfortunately we're not going to be able to see it or get a good camera view what i'll do is show you a picture and location of the starter on our schematic all right DIY is back at the craftsman workstation and to the diagrams as you can see here is the hull of the jet ski and the way i'm positioned in the water in this video is i'm standing basically on the starboard side center portion and looking into the hull is where we are going to see our engine, as you see here. And there's that electrical box I keep referencing. And in regards to the actual engine, again, where I'm standing, looking in the center starboard section right here, the engine, and all the way down at the very bottom is the starter, as you see right there. And it connects to an electrical cable that feeds all the way back to that electrical box. Again, the starter is the lower portion of the engine. And coming to this diagram over here, here is the starter and additional parts in reference to the diagram. And I just wanted to show you that. So hopefully that helps you get a good view, again, where we are positioned in the water in this current video, starboard center side of the hull. And looking inside, going below all of the additional parts, including the large manifold, is the starter below that. Taking a step back and check that out. That's our cryptocurrency token, toolboxtoken.com. Definitely check that out. We're having a lot of fun with that. And we've been busy, always busy here at the Craftsman Workstation. We've rebuilt an Alpha 1 Gen 1 OutDrive. And we've mounted skateboards. Check that out. And we will post links down below in the comment section as well as the description section. We even got wheels. Check that out. Pretty cool. And real quick, back to the workbench before we go back to the jet ski. I've cleaned up the diagrams, and here's the start-stop little cap that will be replaced during the winter. And this is the push button right here that goes on the back side of this start-stop push button. And we're going to replace the oil filter, the temp sensor, the plugs, both the ignition coils, and the storage compartment latch, as shown here. DLRs, that is it. Again, five most common causes, one of which is the cause of your jet ski not starting. From here, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell, that would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and it is a nice day.